hi guys welcome back to another video uh in today's video i'm just going to answer a question that was asked on a previous video how do you make a forex uh, robot open a new trade let's say you have a, new, a winning trade and you want to add a new trade on top of that winning trade so how do you make your robot do that so basically what you are probably going to do is start off with a strategy obviously you want to start off with a strategy here i'm just going to demonstrate a robot based on stochastic your robot might be based on something else but uh, you you get that idea is we go along and create this robot in fx streamer so our condition definitely i'm just going to cherry pick so don't come and say but we are choosing the only good, good condition i'm going to cherry pick because i want to just make an example so our condition basically will be that our robot when stochastic comes back from uh the from below the 20 from below the 20 line we are going to be what we are going to be buying so we are going to, be, to have a buy here and definitely when we start seeing a profit we are going to uh, to add another buy and it's going to go uh, like that until we reach around about uh, this point and we just want to close all those uh, trades hopefully those uh, trades will be in profit and so uh, that's uh, the idea of uh, staking uh, trades on a profitable trade so how can we do that using fx dreamer that's how i'm going to show you by the way if you are new on this channel go ahead and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our future videos see the links in the description box below i'll definitely try to uh, leave uh, the code from the video uh, from this video uh, you in the link in the description box below so if you want to test it out for yourself as well you can go ahead and test it out uh, on your own otherwise guys let's get on with it so i'm going to just go to my fx streamer then definitely we are going to start with our robot uh, let's just add uh, some uh, filters uh, some people try with one uh, start with one spare bar like myself uh, some people uh, think it's a bad idea i don't know uh, what you think but uh, there is many ways of skinning a cat so definitely we want to start with a no trade i usually start with a no trade because i want the robot to first of all check that uh, there are no trades uh, running there and you can basically link the the two like that the two blocks like that and then we go to our condition uh, we said it's stochastic it's a basic uh, stochastic uh, trading uh, robot and condition there double click and we said we're going to use uh, stochastic uh, so we're going to use uh, the stochastic and with the default setting and we said we want it to be above the 20 um, um, 20 line so we're just going to write 20 there and we are just going to update and once that is done we want the robot to buy we want the robot uh, to buy so that's uh, basically uh, the condition for the buy uh, you can try uh, uh, conditions for sales but we're just going to demonstrate uh with a buy if i go back to my trader there i'm just going to demonstrate uh, the buy condition so maybe you can make two robots uh, buy and sell if you don't want to, com to complicate uh things so we're just doing the buy then you can simply do the, the sell part with your other robot if you don't want to complicate your life so uh, that having been done how do we then uh, add a new buy if the conditions are still good for us if the conditions are still good for us how do we add another buy on top of that uh, buy so in any case uh, 
uh, you would have what let's double click and go in there you would have set your lot sizing your 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 take profit your stop loss in there and so uh, basically you do what you feel is good for you then to add another uh, buy on top of that basically what we are going to do is we are going to say for each trade for each trade and we are going to use this condition we're just going to link it with the yellow uh, dot there for each trade double click you don't need to change uh, anything uh, really in uh, this section so we are just going to go for uh, for each trade either buys or sells uh, but here we know we are using buys but anyway uh, for each trade what we are going to do is we are going to check for profit we are going to check and make sure that that uh, trade is in profit if that trade is in profit what are we going to do once per bar again we want to effect we want to effect another buy as long as the conditions as long as the conditions are good um, some people prefer to put once per bar after condition uh, see uh, what really works for you or what uh, rocks your boat so check for profit generally we just want uh, profit is greater than uh, whatever uh, you can uh, you can put whatever amount that is in the deposit currency or the money that's in your trading account at the moment uh, it's basically up to you or you can leave it at uh, zero you can start at uh, zero basically uh, whatever rocks your boat but uh, play with it and see if it's uh, working for you so we just leave amount uh, in deposit currency we just leave it at 10 so as long as it's going to be greater uh, than the deposit currency we are going to what we are going to see a new buy or you can play with these other conditions you can play with these other conditions maybe a percentage of account currency profit uh, if it's greater than that then uh, uh, you determine what profit uh, that you already have with that trade then it opens uh, what it it knows that it's in profit or you can say percentage of equity if your equity is uh, growing then uh, you can definitely that's an indication to the robot that that particular trade that started with is now in a profit so it basically does play around with that condition then we open a new trade so what then happens if we we come uh, to this area then we need to close all these uh, trades that we have been uh, taking uh, maybe we, they will be closed by let me go back to my FX streamer maybe they will be closed by hitting the TP maybe they'll be closed by hitting the TP but if the TP is not hit then what you just want to do is to also tell the robot you give it con a condition to close a trades so we go back to our condition we have condition there and we say we say if if stochastic goes above 80 we know that it's most likely now going to be shifting uh, to go back down it, this is just a textbook theory it doesn't always happen in the room markets like here here but anyway well i'm just teaching you something then we go back and we say condition double click and go in there and we again choose a stochastic default settings now if it goes above crosses above actually crosses above if it crosses above uh, the value 80 
if it crosses above the 80 line if it crosses above the this 80 line we basically just want to close all the trades there so that's basically what you need uh, for this robot this is a robot that actually stacks uh, trades on top of one another this stacks uh, buy trades on top of a profitable buy uh, trade so that's basically what you just need uh, play, play around with some of these things uh, for example the conditions um, here I'd used uh, as long as it's above or you can start with from the bottom when it crosses above uh, the uh, 20 line immediately it crosses above that we have our buy then here we just leave it as as long as it's above the 20 line we are what we are adding more buys to that then when we come to this uh, when it crosses above the 80 line we know we are likely going to see a reversal then we want to close uh, those uh, trades you can basically uh, play with some of these things but here we are just closing all trades uh, or you can say close uh, the buys uh, since we are just using this robot for buys then you update then obviously you come to this section and you say uh, you give it a new a, a cool name maybe you call it a uh, stack up EA or whatever you want to call it uh, done and then uh, you download the source uh, code or you can download the executable file there's already a video on this channel about using uh, uh, mq4 mq5 uh, code well in metatrader 4 metatrader 5 so i don't need to get into that in uh, this video otherwise guys i hope uh, this uh, quick video is of benefit to you i will see you in the next one bye